My name is Shauna Kober, and I teach business at Arlington High School in Arlington, Nebraska. Chairman Bernanke, consumers need to spend money in order to stimulate the economy. However, the overextension of credit contributed to the current financial situation we are in. How do you propose educating consumers on maintaining a balance, saving, and spending? And will this balance slow the recovery of our economy? Well, that's a great question. So th this is often uh, raised, which is that, uh, you know, in some sense, the, the, um, the boom and the crisis came about because people spend too much and consume too much and borrow too much. And now to get out of it, we want people, you know, to consume more and to borrow more and to spend more. Now, what, what kind of sense does that make? Um, well, it, it, it does, but it takes an economist to understand it. So give me, give me a moment to uh, try to clarify. So first of all, at a... Um, um, at a micro level, at the, at the level of the individual family or household or individual, um, we want people to be responsible. As I've said this several times already, um, we want them to make uh, good choices. We want them to save enough. We want to make sure they don't take on excessive debts. And that often means that they have to be frugal in their spending. And that's simply the, the bottom line. So we're not encouraging people to be, to be irresponsible. We think everyone should be... Um, uh, live within their means and to manage their finances as well as they can. So that's that's a given. Let's just take that as given. Now that being said, um, for the economy as a whole, there has to be some source of demand that will put our factories and and, and firms back to work. There's got to be some demand for the output production of of our economy, and that we need that for recovery. And so there's like a little bit of a conflict, a contradiction between those two things. There's a couple of ways to resolve that contradiction. One is to understand that there are uh, components of demand for goods and services in our economy which are different, which are not just consumer spending. And that includes, for example, capital formation. If uh, firms are uh, adding to their, um, their uh, high-tech uh, information technology, for example, um, or if the government is spending on, uh, on bridges, uh, there are lots of different sources of demand besides consumers. Uh, a very important source of demand, of course, is exports when selling uh, goods and services to, to folks outside the country. So there are sources of demand besides consumers, and we want to, um, uh, we want to as much as we can, rely on those uh, to help our, our economy recover. But the other thing I would say to reconcile that micro and that macro contradiction is that people can spend responsibly if they have the income, and that in turn means that what we'd like to see is a labor market recovery. The labor market has been uh, growing, it's been recovering, but too slowly. Uh, unemployment rate is still too high. So to the extent that economic policies or the decisions being made by employers across the country will help our labor market grow uh, and jobs uh, be created, that's gonna increase incomes. That will allow people to spend more create more demand for products, create more growth in our economy, but without being irresponsible on the part of the individuals because they'll have more income coming from, from jobs. So they're, they're really two keys to growth that are consistent with um, responsible spending. One is to find other sources of demand, like investment spending, like, like exports. And the second is to give people the income they need to spend responsibly, and that means, basically that means jobs.